Taming conjunctions. Avoiding overuse in English language. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our series on mastering compound and complex sentences. Today, we're going to delve into a common issue many language learners face, and that is the overuse of coordinating conjunctions. It's going to be a fun and informative session, so let's dive in. Before we talk about overuse, let's briefly remind ourselves what coordinating conjunctions are. They are words that link or connect two equal parts of a sentence. The most common ones are and, but, or, so, yet, for, and, nor. They can connect words, phrases, or clauses that share the same importance in a sentence. Overusing coordinating conjunctions can make your sentences sound repetitive and disrupt the flow of your writing or speech. It's like adding too much spice to a dish. While a little can enhance the flavor, too much can overpower it. A common sign of overuse is if you're using a coordinating conjunction in every sentence. For example, I woke up, and I ate breakfast. Then I went to work, but it was hard. I came home, and I was tired. In this case, almost every sentence begins with a conjunction. It's not grammatically incorrect, but it becomes monotonous and makes your language less engaging. To avoid overuse, consider these strategies. 1. Combine sentences. Instead of saying, I woke up, and I eat breakfast, you can say, I woke up and ate breakfast. 2. Use different conjunctions or connectors. Switch things up by using conjunctions like, although, since, while, etc., or connectors like, however, in addition, on the other hand, etc. 3. Vary sentence structure. Don't always rely on conjunctions to link ideas. Use a mix of short and long sentences, questions, statements, or exclamations for variety. That's it for today's lesson on avoiding the overuse of coordinating conjunctions. By being mindful of your usage and mixing up your sentence structure, you'll make your English sound more natural and engaging. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep writing, keep speaking, and most importantly, keep learning. See you in the next video.